And when these two met earlier this year, North Florida actually held Liberty to their lowest number of threes made in the game this season. The Flames made just four in that contest. So that's also a number to keep an eye on as we progress throughout the night. Andrea Rosa gets it to Escobar. He'll launch the deep triple well off the mark. And Holmesley pulls the board. What do I do here? You're right, or they're going to give it to you early in the possession, and Liberty likes to kind of run it down a little more, so... Nearly stolen away. Gande Arosa now swings it into the corner. That three ball up, too strong. The rebound to Holmesley. That intensity. Get that ball and run downhill, and get yourself some second shots off of offensive rebounds. All right, Ryze, we'll see what happens here the next couple of minutes. That's Quindary Weatherspoon a little bit short. We should mention that... Uh, Here's Rose, who had a big game in the semis coming off the bench. Now Moran. Marbury, great position down low, too strong. With the basketball down eight, you start to feel like every possession important for them. Yeah, still and now a lot of time. Hit a little bit of a lull offensively. One of their last eight from the field. And the miss there from Rob Perry. He is yet to get on track. Now 0 of 6 from the field tonight. 10-minute mark. Halfway through the first, I think Kennesaw State will take a one-point deficit at halfway through the first. It's about, it's about finishing the mission. The mission is finishing this first half as, as Lewis lines up a three. Right. Finishing the first half, they Kerbin don't. has to move around those big bodies of Liberty. Hooker pull up. Yeah. You can tell that Liberty, the game plan is to stop. And that's 12 points yeah. right there. It's a 16-point game. Jones for three. Holmesley skying for it. And that time defensively. Cooks. Been relatively quiet, certainly for him early on. He's forcing the issue now. Draws some contact. No, the rebound to Holmesley. Looks like he got maybe hit in the eye as he's wincing as he comes back down. Cooks has the top of the key. Gives it to Walsh in the corner. Thought about the three. Now put it on the deck. Driving. Working off the check. Go. Little bump. No whistle. And couldn't connect off the glass. Both of these teams red hot entering play yeah. tonight. North Florida, six game win streak. The Flames, five game win streak. Hendrickson off the mark with the triple. And Jason down to go. And if you're Liberty, you want to contest shots. You don't want to foul. You want to keep that clock running. Kick out. Hendrickson trying to step back. Couldn't get free. Now deep three coming from Gondale Rosa. Missed everything. Offensive rebound. Saved it back. From deep. The Flames in the tournament for only the fourth time in their history. They won the A-Sun tournament in their first year in the conference this season. 27 years they spent in the Big South. They're getting an early taste of what the Two-point Bulldogs lead. Here's Peters. He's been the maestro. Off the hands of Holman. Turnover. Time. Great penetration to pass. Scotty James held scoreless in the first half, has five so far here in the second. That's his really comfortable running clock. They run these dribble exchanges and then try to get one good shot out of it each possession. And they've done a good job with that so far, with that philosophy. Panzo trying to drive around Holmesley. Couldn't finish the rebound, which is their largest lead of the night. Diego Willis with it. Remember, he hit three threes the last time these teams played. Some big shots, especially in the second half for them. Nikite trying to get free, couldn't do it. Willis going to launch. Catch and that happens. <laughs> but again, and JIT, they put the pressure on, and it works that time. Gibbs gives it up, gets it right back top of the key. Now Willis looking in the post. They go to Diakite. He's had the hot hand. Here comes the double team. Yeah, they double at that time. A good decision by Liberty. Walsh, quick three. I think the crowd got it. Yes. Well, one thing that never wavers when it comes to Cuffy is his defensive commitment. Kite gets it to Cooks. Cuffy on him. Cooks driving, kicking. Brinson with four on the shot clock steps out of bounds. The NJIT. I feel like every possession, especially now, you're getting down to six minutes of the game. Every possession is so important. They're trying, trying to turn the pressure up on the Flames. Willis, three ball off the mark. Fight for the rebound, and it comes to McGee. Keep waiting for him to kind of catch fire. It just yeah. hasn't happened yet. But you know what? He's not forcing shots, and I think that's really helping them tonight. Kicks that one to Brinson. Corner three. Way strong. Scotty James grabs the rebound. But they'll make up for it with their quickness. Both teams want to play pretty fast. And Liberty, you can't give them open shots because they knock down the three ball. 
One of the best teams in the nation at shooting it from the arc. Boy, that looked to be a wide open layup for Abdul Adu, but a beautiful recovery by Caleb Holmesley. Just couldn't knock it down. Great position by Holman, but it's stolen by Holmesley. Two on one break. Nice. Holmesley the finish. It is a two point game. First bucket for the Flames in more than three minutes. That was a sweet pass by Gums. Drew the defender. Garrison Matthews has had a huge second half. Turns it over. And now Liberty can take the there's lead. There's three more out there, and they're the guys <laughs> wearing stripes. Yeah, remember the last time these teams played, Mohamedou Jawara fouled out with 14 minutes left in the game. He's had a lot of foul trouble this season. If they can keep him on the court, that'll be key as well. Yeah, he's, he's just didn't get the roll. Raleigh has it on the wing. Christian Jones has been pretty quiet in this ball game as well. Just two points. The bean butt looking in the post. Jawara gets it working on Baxter Bell. It poked away and taken away by Darius McGee. Masangela trying to feed the cover. It's intercepted by Holmesley. Game as a member of the Highlanders most all time in their program's history. Yakite doubled in the post, looking for some help, trying to get out of it. He does not, turns it over. A great trap by Liberty. Cooks. He only knows one speed. Wow. That's full speed. That one denied. Cuffey with the rejection. Flames on the move and a foul. Diego Willis smartly. Yes. Now Cooks has it. A lot of movement by NJT. Deflected, yeah. but Yakite ends up tracking it yeah, down. Luckily, Spins baseline. Goes up strong. Blocked. Scotty James. That's that awkward distance. You kind of get in there. It's wide open. They kind of lure you in there because it's kind of an eight-foot runner. But that's really kind of right up Caleb's alley. Escobar trying to create some space. Now calling for a screen yes, from Malagoon. And, and making North Florida play these long possessions is exactly what you want. Malagoon oh. with the the denial by Holmesley. And Balagoon thought he was in the clear. And that three-pointer off the mark. Balagoon, another rebound. Goes up, blocked again, and taken away by the Flames. Oh, get it over the outstretched hands of Dewey, and he knocks it off the glass. Yes. Peters, errant pass. They turn it over. That's what the window for. got the defense to be honest, and then he was able to make a one-on-one -on -one play. Let's see if he can do it again. Inside, it's blocked by Holmesley. Oh, he went right into the defense. He's got a read. Lewis, 10 to shoot, under eight minutes to play here in the first, and you're going to get an offensive foul on Kennesaw State. Two of his fashion, but nevertheless, you know, they stay close. Weatherspoon, contact, offensive foul. Caleb Holmesley able to beat him to the spot, number two on Weatherspoon. Coming off that curl, Weatherspoon had an advantage, steps right in, takes that one. Last season started just five games. Outside to Carter, shot clock at six. How animated is Liberty's defense now? Mm -hmm. Carter splits two. Holman misses everything. Shot clock violation. The basketball back to the flames. You see this? Yeah, the third meeting between these two programs. Yeah, for Stetson, try to get some easy points. You know, they were hard to come by in both outings, but try to get to the free throw line, maybe get some transition points or steals. Southern Conference semifinal. Jones feeding the post, Jawara passes it into the second row. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Emily. Flames start the second half by turning the basketball over. So NGIT, a chance to continue to make this crowd at Vine Center awfully nervous. Said Yakite steps out of bounds there along. Flames getting this big crowd into the ball game here early. Thanks to their play on both days. Eric Sam's trying to quiet him down, working on Holmesley. Now they go in the post. Andrea Rosa takes the hand off from Aminu. Good job cutting him off. Escobar's had the hot hand recently for the Ospreys. He's going to launch another deep one. In and out. Fight for the rebound. Taken by James. Flames come the other way. Ten seconds in the half, Chris. Good defensive possession there by North Florida. 
They needed it. And they need an answer on the offensive end. Trailing by 12. Dorian James handles. It's an Escobar. There's a guy that can get you a basket. Feed inside, deflected. And it will stay with the Ospreys. Boy, it looked like that almost yeah. deflected off the hand of Hendrickson. But North Florida will keep it with 13 on the shot clock. State, Peter's the catalyst for so many big plays. Under six minutes left. Weatherspoon wants to take Holmes Lee. Contact, mm. offensive foul. Number four on Weatherspoon. You got to see that one, and that is huge wow. on two back to back trouble. Let's watch this one. Okay, maybe yep. it was. Dip that shoulder. Yeah, dip that hard shoulder. To, hard for us to see it from this angle. You don't have to be essentially set. You're entitled to ball, But, uh, you know, that's been consistent for the game. The, the refs are letting them play. Well, you just think Jawar is out. You got yeah, free path to the rim, not so fast. Raleigh has it on the wing, back to Aninye. Six on the shot clock. He tries to drive on Holmesley. Kicks it out. I don't know if Raleigh realizes now. Hoist at the last second. Off the mark. Long rebound. Guys, the that you're playing with. Feel good about the locker room. And, and, and feel good about practices. It's amazing what you can do. There's a ton of talent out there. That's the parody we talk about in college basketball. Fleming is fouled. Shriner University in Kerrville, Texas. Gums had a big game in the semis. 14 points and 15 off the bench. Matthews no good, rebound by Liberty. Sure the inbounders, we didn't get a free look for a lob. Get it out, Kabimba missed everything. Shot clock violation. Those big guys, they're really getting a lot of touches. Both teams are for their bigs. San Antonio Brinson with it now. Holmesley on him. Brinson, jump shot. Got a couple of rolls off that. Diakite gets it. Yeah, they need to feed the uh, Highlanders need to feed their bigs. Brinson and Diakite have had the hot hand. Brinson gonna launch. No, the rebound knocked out of bounds off of the hand of Diakite. Waving off Jawara, trying to get in the hands of Jones. Now put it on the deck. There Jones has it at right wing, looking in the post. Eight on the shot clock. Aninye thought about the three, now trying to drive on Holmesley. Stops, kicks out Raleigh. Two on the shot clock, he just realized it. Deep three on the way, no. The offensive rebound. Great action from Liberty to get a much needed bucket on that possession. Elijah Covey, the sophomore from West Virginia. Pepper. That is going to be called for an offensive foul. As a guard so in far out. Hooker gets the defender in the air, kicks out. Lockley thinks about the three. That's a shot that Hooker wishes Lockley would have taken. And that one's out of the hands of Hooker in a turnover. Eight three flames. Just about seven minutes into this one. Brinson has it on the wing. Trying to drive on Holmesley. Has to kick it back out. Ten on the shot clock. Maybe things didn't always pan out in the win column for him this year, but they got a good group back, led by the guy with the ball. Ball Swift it on the wing, trying to drive now on Holmesley. Spinning around him and denied. Holmesley so long, able to get that left hand up there and knock it away. Move by Walsh. Most people, he'd be laying that thing in, but... The long arm of the law said, not this time. Brinson, a lot more aggressive here in the second half. Oh, my! Rise it up is Holmesley to swat it off the backboard. Now McGee driving, laying it up, and in! ...out on the floor, but I imagine they'll get him back in here pretty quick. Lost the handle, Hendrickson hits the deck, takes it away, and here come the Ospreys. Driving, lowering the shoulder, and that's an easy one. Yeah. Offensive foul called on JT Escobar. Make it awfully easy for yeah, the this again. Caleb knew that's all he really could do. Backpedal, get yourself square to your to the offensive player. And we are under 10 minutes left. There comes Carter, contact, and it will be a charging foul. Mm. Carter did his best to as avoid saying, utilizing that basketball IQ, anticipation by the help side. And he's taking a couple of these. Caleb Holmesley doing a nice job being able to read. Tough when you start talking about the length and size 
of the Bulldogs. Cabell denied by Adu, one of the premier shot blockers in the, the big fella that does that. Pepper. And it comes to Holmesley. Oh my gosh, the place would have gone crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He took the ball up the court, went coast to coast, and laid it in earlier in the first half. And this three is off by Fleming. Tipped again. Went up and challenged Caleb Holmesley and turned it aside. Big time block by Diakite. Cook's going to pull it back out. Yeah, he recognized the mismatch that he had Brinson off the dribble, but couldn't quite complete the pass to Scotty. Walsh now gets in the lane, but couldn't convert. Where they have started slow offensively, probably can't afford to do that tonight against this high octane offense in North Florida. Yeah, they need to get going, and there's no better guy to do it than Caleb Holmesy right there. Again, that high post is going to be and key to smart decisions. We talked about it. Liberty doesn't quite have the depth, or at least not the experience in that depth this year as they did a season ago. They ride their starters hard, including Caleb Holmesy, who lays it in with the left hand. Eight point lead. Flames with a chance to add to it. See, here you'll see this matchup zone extend. Yeah. Biggest lead of the game for the Flames. They push it. Yeah, to it's really going to see. Flames history, six double double of this season. Yes, he and now Scotty, or in this case, Caleb right there. Oh, my goodness. Bucket in the foul. Wow. I was just going to say, you don't have to worry about a meter. Holmes the top of the key. Well, hesitation, driving. Challenge the shot blocker. No, the follow was good, but they may have. Was it foul on the, on the putback or was it a late whistle on body control here? Gets the foul and just finds a way to finish. Big time basket by Caleb Holmes. And that's number four on Garrett Sams now. So the Osprey is facing some foul trouble. Aminu already has pressure having... again. That's what I would do. You just can't afford to sit back and let Liberty kind of grind you to sleep. Holmesley trying to back down Walsh, gets around him, lays it in. That is a yeah. matchup nightmare yes. right now for Riley Walsh. They've stayed with it a couple times. Bulldogs two in their first six. The Bulldogs have got some point blank opportunities and, you know, flubbed them. Holmesley nice. around the corner. First points for the Flames. And if you're the Flames, if you can just see Although the they were able to hang on and make it to the NCAA tournament. Holmesley down the lane gets it to go. And remember last their year. confidence, Matt, off of getting those stops and then hitting some shots at the other end. There's a little runner from Holmesley in and out, hits, follows his own miss and gets the roll. Uh, one handed tap in. You're seeing why Caleb Holmesley is the player of the year in the A Sun Conference. You again, you want to play to win this game, don't play not to lose. Holmesley. That helps. Would not let them score. Two big time blocks. One from Holmesley, one from Baxter Bell. That's all. Great feed. Holmesley who throws it down with two hands. The freshman road with the Holmesley. under. Cuffey. Holmesley. Boy, he has made some big plays here in the second half. That's poor communication by Mississippi State. Carter's taking a little more responsibility in ball handling. Guys, one thing we should point out again Weatherspoon and Lamar Peters both playing with four fouls. Holmesley back. And Liberty keeps on coming. He has five early points tonight. And that's bonus because, you know, again, Stetson not, they don't rely heavily. Great cut on the bucket three. in the foul. Caleb Holmesley is trying to will his <laughs> team back in front. Well, if anybody can do it, it's him. Really mess you up as a team. James double team right down on him, and Holmesley on a cut. Get the ball to fall. There's some nervous energy in the building right now, I think it's fair to say. Cuffy yes. had the open three, passed on it, now gives it to Holmesley, who flushes it with two hands. That'll get the crowd into it. That was not rattling out. Finding Caleb Holmesley cutting to the hoop. Caleb up to nine points. Try to exploit the smaller guard. Yeah, so we can't really switch. There's that matchup zone. James, good job. Little head fake, got a meter off the ground, and he lays it in on the other side of the room. Yeah. And he said it kind of reinvigorated him. Nice. So he is brought them back. Scotty 
Ronnie James coming down with a for the ability he's shown to guard screen and rolls and really defend perimeter players. But looking for a sub on that position, not even able to get it. Over. Averages over 20 points per game, over 21 in a Sun play, and right now only his second field goal on the afternoon. But not hunting shots, continuing to play within the coach's system. Good ball movement, Pacheco Ortiz. A 48% three-point shooter. Liberty after 27 in the Big South. Last time the Flames went dancing, 2013. There's James through the traffic. But you have so many playmakers for the Flames. And right here, I like what Holmesley's doing. Pepper guarding him is a mismatch. I call my number on that play. Cavill on the kick. All created by the fact that Holmesley knew he had a Mr. Bell going to bring the ball up, try to get him into their offense. Hands off to Holmesley and Inye on him. He's going to drive and kick. Shiloh Robinson going to try another three and it goes down. Well, how about that for confidence he in the freshman? Missed one. Find a way to punch Kennesaw State in the gut, see what happens. Yeah, you, what you do is you play a two man game right now between James and Holmesley. That's who you play. But with Holmesley finding people like that, he's going to get everyone else involved, that third and fourth option. But primarily, you need the ball. If you're, if you're Liberty, keep it in the, the hands of Holmesley. It's been a long time coming, back in the dance. Trying to get to the round of 32. And so right now, having some struggles with these Liberty Flames. No look pass. That's Gums for the corner three. Holmesley putting something extra on it. for NJIT. No kidding. And they played, and they hung with the Flames. Yes. Here just this past week. So That's right. Came in here and you thought been they might a real nice showing. Get a little momentum coming out of that game. And maybe it is actually happening as the Flames in the second half of the basketball. They go right into James, who lays it off the window with the left hand. Wow, nice little screen and roll. Great pass by Caleb. Great pass to ear of the Career defender. Bradley. And we talked with Casey Alexander, of course, the opposing coach of Scotty James. All he marveled about is the fact of how hard James played on every possession. And you see him get loose. Great screen and roll action between Holmes and James, the two first team ace on him. Plus points on average from the bench. And true to form, whenever Baxter Bell checks into the game, you're going to see a Sunderland for Lipscomb. Keenan Gums, the senior Division Three guard one on one, but Marbury has probably gotten the better of that matchup. Yeah, when we watch Virginia, the ball goes in the paint. We see two bigs converge, and I know Liberty has that in their package as Cuffy has the three ball in his package. Holmesley against Matthews, the pick from James, into the corner. And that three is good by Cabell, a 44% three-point shooter to give Liberty the lead again. Anish, the three by Cabell was nice, but that pass from Holmesley was impressive. Lipscomb getting... Um, you can't have any assignments that you miss in the second half if you want to get a chance of winning. McGee. And the putback, and I would see they're gonna they're gonna go goal ten. It's an and one, an and one yep. on Lockley. Yeah, Lockley James was Freezes there. Freezes the defender to make sure you take the roll away, and then it's a nice little opportunity for your guard. Crowd starting to come alive again here as the lead is dipping down a little. And 90 more as a three ball goes in by McGee. Well, you can see how Asajula averages over four assists of all game. Just a couple there back to back on the cutter. And I'm with you. I'm seeing if they can try to get this to single digits, but again, Liberty keeps him at bay. Another three. It's Elisha Cuffy. I don't know. Well, the guys in stripes don't care what we think. That's they right, make yeah. the call. We, we've learned that over the We support out. What a pass. Whipping it across court. Kyle Road in rhythm. No. With Mark Caleb, let's check in once again with Emily Austin. Guys, he's not just the defensive player of the game. He also has a game-high 14 points for Liberty. I also asked NJIT head coach Brian Kennedy. Tournament for the first time in a decade. They have been one of 15 coaches that's taken their fourth team to the NCAA tournament. And he's been an outstanding coach. Pick and roll from James. Bulldogs have a foul to give. Here's Holmesley. That's a three. Recover, still 12 to shoot. Here's Holmesley, career high 27. 
Another one from deep. Oh, he buries it. Ooh. First lead for Liberty since the 12:40 mark of the first half. My goodness. Let's watch these losers. Here in this first half, 57 percent. A 14-point advantage now. Holmesley, another NBA range three. <laughs> Those tough runners, you've got to get somebody up on the offensive glass, but there's nothing you can do about this. I'm not putting him in the cat. Holmes will pull it out. Caleb Holmesley waiting for that screen. Driving. Backing it back out, tail on the shot clock. He thought about the deep three. Now step back triple. That goes down. Wow. I think Caleb just wanted to keep that. At Virginia. It's been six years with Bennett in Charlottesville. Holmesley is hounded by Witherspoon, and he buries it nonetheless. Man. Let me see. Caleb Holmesley with Witherspoon all over him, being able to knock down that and shot. Derry with a nice pass off the pick and roll, let it develop, and got it right to pair. Holmesley, deep three. Who's and that? just like that, it's a six-point game. And the players not rotate and keep their assignments. One of the adjustments has to be made. You're being doubled up right now in rebounds, 18 to 9. Yeah. And that can't happen because there's a three ball buried again. There's the space you were talking about. I tell you, man, this is this is in his pocket, as we would say. It was so close with that guy you just saw there, 23 in purple. Hassan Asajula for Lipscomb, their top player. Number one and number two in the A-Sun this season in terms of the voting. And here's Holmesley. Takes it in and scores it. Yeah, he's a special player. He is a really special player. There's something about lefties. A, lefties always look good when they shoot, but it's a different For cover. Sure. And the home court advantage that Liberty has had has been outstanding as Holmesley takes Ooh. it to the rack. That's how to become pros. That's the thing. We, we don't give college enough credit. Like, you're learning a lot of good things. You know, you're learning about expectation. You're learning about accountability. And Asada Sajla has been terrific. Seven-point ball game under five to go here in the first half. Scotty James with it. Caleb Holmesley, been quiet here the last few minutes. Drives, lays it in, contact, and they'll call a block. Block underneath, going against NJIT. Squad so far tonight. Yeah, five offensive rebounds. Leading the points for North Florida. And again, it, it, these two teams are too good. You can't afford to let the other team do that. Caleb Holmes is trying to answer with a three of his own, and it goes down. Preseason player of the year in the A-Sun, and he's been playing like it of late. Cavill into the corner. This is a three from Holmesley. Splash. And Liberty in front. First lead for the Flames. The Rappers knocking off the Highlanders. So congrats to Gardner-Webb for punching that ticket. And Holmesley trying to punch the ticket for the Liberty Flames. And Holmesley, of course, relocated. James has it now. South to George Pacheco. In rhythm three from Holmesley. That goes down. Wow, what a tough shot. Comes off the screen, just gets his feet set, gets himself on balance. Well, Three-quarter denied and went up in perfect timing to block that one. Richie yeah. McKay staying with Baxter Bell over Scotty James. Holmesley, splash! Three-point game. Caleb Holmesley playing the game of his Good life. Down. Into the corner. Now they give it to Holmesley. Wing triple on the way. Bang! If the Flames get you're just looking to pass, you're not putting the defender at any risk. Look to score, none that brings a different element to that set. James almost loses the handle on it. Now Cuffey. Great rotation if you're Owls. Yep, Holmesley three. What a beautiful, easy stroke by Holmesley. He now has 10 points. Obaniki wide open in the corner for the three. Three ball for Liberty, and that was a beautiful shot again by Holmesley. You're not reading the basketball as an offense, you're reading the defense. You know, it sounds really basic and elementary, but it, it's harder than you think it is. Rising up, Holmesley. 
I'm telling you, look, DeAndre Hunt.